Sometimes, an activity encounters a situation that's unusual or beyond its capabilities in some way. Such a situation is called an exception. And that exception must be handled somehow for the activity to continue or to end. You can include exceptions and how they're handled in UML activity diagrams. To do this, you use a special connector, an arrow that zigzags like a lightning bolt. And this arrow points from the action where the exception might arise to the exception handler, that is, to the activity that happens in response to the exception, the activity that tries to get us either back on track for our original activity or brings us to an end, brings the activity to an end. So you see how these are connected. Here's the action where the exception might arise. The zigzag arrow is labeled with the name of the exception and it points to the exception handler. Now if the exception handler is able to get us back on track, perhaps to action two here, we would point to action two from the exception handler. Or if the exception handler can only end the process, we would point to the final node. As an example, Here's a diagram you've seen before. This shows the process of what happens in a fulfillment department when it receives an order. Receive order, fill order, ship order, finish. What happens if we receive an order for an item that's been discontinued? We're going to have to handle that exception somehow. So let's say we receive an order and the exception is that the item is discontinued. There's our exception uh, and it's defined by the label. So we would handle that exception probably by canceling the order. Since the order can't be filled, there's no point in going through these other steps. Which means that handling this exception is going to take us to the end of the activity. When you cancel the order, you're not going to go through the other steps of filling the order and shipping the order. It will simply bring the activity, bring the process to an end. So this shows a possible exception. We receive the order, but the order is for a discontinued item. When that happens, we handle that exception by canceling the order, and that takes us to the end of the activity.